Hello and welcome to the Rome Floyd County Eco Center. Today I'm out just north of Rome, Georgia, into an incredibly ecological diverse area in a beaver pond or a, or a wetland. This water that's here actually flows uh, into Armurchy Creek and then downstream and eventually into the Oostinala River system. So it is part of our watershed. Today we're going to be talking about one of the largest or the largest rodents in North America, the American beaver and how important that is that we have these critters up and down our watershed. Now this wetland that I'm in uh, now is a real diverse area. It, it's a nursery for young fish. Um, it produces a lot of plant life and growth. Uh, coming in here today, we've probably seen 75 to 100 different ducks, uh, primarily uh, mallards and gadwalls and a very few, few amount of wood ducks. Um, it's very important that we have these places, number one, for our wildlife, but also for, for us as people. These areas serve as a, a recharge area for surface water and groundwater as it fluctuates and it seeps down into the, the soils, these hydraulic soils, it is actually filtered out and, uh, and, and cleans that water and purifies that water naturally, uh, which means it's very low cost to us and, and so forth as we try to clean our water. A typical weight of mature male and female beavers are 50 to 55 pounds. Beavers will colonize. They'll live in an area like this. They'll dam up a free flowing stream uh, and back the water up in that stream bed and flood out these lower areas to provide this kind of wetland habitat. These beavers are actually social animals. Uh, they'll colonize with a monarch uh, a female and a male and, and juveniles and so forth and they're young and they'll raise uh, their young in these lodges. Beavers are herbivores. Um, during the summer and warm time of the year, they'll eat a lot of soft mass uh, vegetation and plants that are prevalent here in these wetland areas. And then later on uh, throughout the winter time, they'll switch over to a hard mass, which they'll begin to eat uh, the actual cambium and the bark off of a lot of, the, a lot of different trees and hardwoods, cottonwoods, ash trees, and things uh, that are uh, creek birch trees that are real prevalent here in these wetland areas. Back in 19, early 1940s, uh, beavers were pretty much devoid uh, here in Georgia. Didn't have a whole lot of those beavers. Without trapping regulations and without any regulations, uh, there still was a trapping and a fur industry. And most of these animals were trapped for their furs and, and pretty much eliminated. Uh, however, through restoration projects, uh, the beavers actually made a very successful comeback. And now there's actually a trapping uh, season and regulation on those. Now when a beaver builds a lodge like this one behind me, this is his home. This is where he stays. Uh, this beaver, as they build these lodges and they colonize and have a family of beavers here, uh, they actually, in this lodge, the water level is about the same. However, there's an air pocket, um, and this is the entrance to, to the lodge. Uh, they'll actually uh, swim up underneath get inside their lodge where it provides an abundant amount of safety for predators and so forth where they can raise their young and, and rest and find cover and shelter. Now at the Eco Center, uh, we've constructed a makeshift beaver dam uh, and lodge uh, so you can see what it's like to be inside one of those type lodges. So come on in with me, let's take a look around. Now coming into the beaver lodge, a beaver can do it a lot more graceful than I can because he's got a big wide flat tail that looks like a rudder that he can steer and use to swim. But anyway, uh, you can actually come here and kind of look around to see what it's like. Now a lot of people wonder why these beavers build, build dams all the time and uh, one of the reasons is they want to control that water level. The entrance and exit uh, to their home when they call, crawl through is actually submerged. And when that's submerged, when they build dams to back the creek up uh, and flood it out, uh, it protects uh, them from predators like coyotes and some places black bears. Uh, it protects that entrance. It's just a safe passage that they can, they can survive without worrying about predators coming inside their lodge. 